hello and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, please subscribe. That would be awesome. Today we are going to work on the Stars Fell in Alabama bracelet by Grammy Loomer. It's gorgeous. Um, need to hop over to her account and read the family history here. Um, evidently in 1954, her aunt, great aunt, should read through that really quickly. Anyway, she was sleeping, okay, her husband's aunt, um, who was sleeping on a couch when a meteorite fell right through her ceiling and hit her in the hip. So it's kind of interesting reading. I believe she has the whole story. Yeah, she does. She has the whole uh, newspaper story um, if you swipe when you get over to here. So anyway, this is what we're going to be doing today. Um, I'll move this to the side. And this is a five pin bar design staggered. So up, down, up, down, up. And I am not sure how my colors are going to work, but we're going to try it anyway. We are going to go with the uh, Caribbean green, metallic gold, and metallic blue. Okay, so give me a moment. Let me gather the rest of my supplies here. Oh, <clears throat> one other thing. I didn't have any stars, but I do, if I can get this open, I do have these little, um, I don't know if you'd call them studs or what. Um, they have a little piece on the back that splits open. Um, so what I plan on doing is I'm going to put it through the bracelet and then separate them so that the stars are actually on the bracelet and I'll do that at the end. Okay, so let me get, gather the rest of my things, check on my dogs, and then I will be back. Now that I have everything together, I'm trying to decide what colors to use on my border. I think I'm going to go ahead and use the gold. So what we want to do is we want to drop a closure band right here. Then we're going to bring it out and to the right up to the right, straight up. Now, if you were going to put beads on it, <clears throat> excuse me, um, this is where you would put your beads, the band that goes straight up. Because what we're gonna do now is we're gonna zigzag and then go straight up. So to the left, to the right, and then straight up. And then your next step from this would be to the left, to the right, and straight up. Okay, I'm going to work on the other side. Diagonal down to the left, grab some more bands, and push that down. Diagonal up to the left, straight up. So what we're doing is we're mirroring this side over here. So go diagonal to the right, diagonal to the left, and straight up. Okay, so that is your border. So if you're gonna put beads, you would wanna put beads on your bands that go straight up. I chose not to put beads on this one, but you certainly can. Okay, so let me um, go off, finish this, and I will be back and give you the next step. And so my apologies, I forgot to tell you where to stop. One, two, three, four, I stopped on the fifth pin from the top, and then I brought them in on both sides. And this is what your loom should look like. Okay. Get down to the bottom here. Now what we're going to do is we are going to do half. Oops, make sure you push your bands down. Obviously I missed a few. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to do half starburst. Okay. So your first thing you're going to do is you're going to go second pin bar. Second pin up, you'll go straight up, and I'm using the blue. Make sure you push those down. Diagonal to the left, diagonal down to the left, and straight down. And we're going to repeat that on the other side. Starting your fourth pin bar, second pin, whoops, second pin. You're going to go straight up, diagonal up to the right, Diagonal down to the right, and then straight down. Oops, fingers are getting in the way. 
Make sure you push your bands down. Okay, I'll show you that. I'll show you that one more time. We're going to go to this one. You'll do the same thing, straight up, diagonal to the left, pushing those bands down, diagonal to the left down, and then straight down. Okay, so those are half starbursts. We'll go over to the other one, which is your fourth pin bar. Fourth pin up, <coughs> excuse me, go straight up, diagonal to the right, diagonal down to the right, and then straight up and down. Okay, make sure you push your bands down, and I'm going to go off. I'm going to finish mine, and I will be right back. I'm back, and I left off with straight up, diagonal, diagonal down, straight down, up, diagonal to the right, diagonal to the right, and straight down. And this is what your loom should look like. Hard to see the blue because of the blue here, but it's there. <clears throat> the next thing we're going to do is we are going to make X's. So, and there'll be every other, every other one, every other pin up the center will have an X on it. Middle, two pins up, to the right, diagonal down, diagonal up to the, whoops, runaway band, diagonal up to the left, and diagonal down to the left. And make sure you push your bands down. Skip this one, <clears throat> go up to pin four, and repeat that. Diagonal to the right, up, diagonal down to the right, to your center again, diagonal up to the left, and diagonal down to the left. Okay, so this is what it should look like. So you will have an X here, you'll have an X here, you will skip, and then start with the next one with an X. So I'm going to go off, I'm going to finish mine. Well, you know what, let us let me put one more X in here because the last step to this is single chains up the center. So we'll kill two birds with one stone with this one. All right, so you did this one, you'll skip and you'll go to the next one. Diagonal to the right, diagonal down to the right, diagonal up to the left, and diagonal down, <coughs> excuse me, down to the left. All right, so we've got three in there. Uh, I was trying to decide what color, and I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to tie my gold in again. Um, we'll see. Hopefully this will, will look good when I finish. So what you want to do, once you do these X's all the way to the end, you'll come back down, center pin, and you'll just do single chains all the way up. Now you can put... Um, beads on these if you want. I think if I were going to do beads on these, I would probably do it starting on the third one. But, you know, you can play with it and, and see what you like. Okay, so do those X's, do your single chains, and um, I will be back as soon as I finish mine. Alrighty, so we are at the end. Last thing I did, you want to put a cat band right here on this, right here. So I had the X's, so there, here, and then the single band straight up the center. And then don't forget your cap band. <coughs> Excuse me, we're gonna go ahead and push, turn this around and start looping. First thing we're going to do is we're going to reach into that center, grab the top band that goes straight up and we're just going to loop these guys back to themselves. Okay, right up the center. <clears throat> okay, sorry about that, my video went blank. Straight up. Okay, so go off, finish that up, and then, well, 
let me do a couple more and then I'll show you the next step since it's pretty simple. Everything is going to be looped back to itself. Okay, so straight up the center, all of that. I'm going to drop down here, middle um, pin bar, and you'll reach in and grab the one that's on top. Now, if you laid them a little differently than I did, that's okay. Um, just grab the first one and, and send it back to itself. If you laid them the way that I did, the first one will go out to the right. Your next one, and I'm I'm pulling these and letting them loosening them up a little bit so that they're not quite so um, twisted. You grab the next one, bring it back to itself, and grab that last one in there, and bring it back to itself. I'll do that one more time on the next one. We're going to go up to the fourth pin bar and do the exact same thing. Your first one should be this diagonal right here. I think. Oops. Maybe not. <laughs> oh, I think I think it's the I, get the I think it's the one that goes up to the right. I may have laid them a little bit differently, but um, it's not going to matter um, <clears throat> as long as you bring them back to themselves. I'm just trying to straighten the bands out. This is why it takes me forever to do. A bracelet. I don't like having to straighten everything at the end. So I try my best to get them as straight as possible. Okay, so they all just go back to themselves. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to finish that, and then um, I will be back and give you the next step. This is what it looks like finished. I did the single chain all the way up the center. And then I brought these bands back to themselves. And this is what your loom should look like. Okay. Alrighty. So the next thing we're going to do is bring everything back to itself, I believe. Um, let's see here. All right. So we have two things to do now. We have the blue, and then we have the border. So what you want to do is go into the center and then just loop everything back. Everything back to itself. So that one goes straight up. This one goes diagonal up to the left, diagonal down to the left, and then straight down. Okay, we'll go over to the other side second pin bar there, not counting the ones below. It will go straight up, diagonal to the right, down diagonal, and straight down. Okay, I'll do that with you one more time. We'll go up to the next set, which is right here. Reach into the center, go straight up, diagonal to the left, Reach in, your next one on top will be diagonal, down to the left, and then straight down. Okay, make sure you push your bands down. Go over to the other side, and I'll finish that one. Go into the center, so you move those bands out of the way, grab that top band, and bring it back to itself. Same thing, diagonal to the right, diagonal down to the right, and then straight down. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and go off and finish these up. And um, once I'm done, I will be back and we will do the border and then we will take it off the loom. So I have finished, I have finished looping everything up. Now what we're going to do is um, do the border and then the, we'll be able to take this off. So this is what your um, loom should look like. Okay? Alright. This part is piece of cake. I'm going to go ahead, reach in, and grab whichever one. So go through all, that whole cap band there and grab whatever is on the top and loop it back. Yours might be going to the left. It might be going to the right. Doesn't matter. So reach through everything, grab the bottom band, and loop it back up. 
same thing. Loop it back up. Let me get a little tight in there. There we go. I'm going to go up to the next one. Now, what you're going to do is everything goes back to itself. So at this point, once we've done this, we have the diagonal to deal with. So we're going to reach in, grab that bottom band, loop it to the right. Go in through all those bands, grab that bottom band, and it gets looped up into the left. And then your next one will go straight up. Oops. I can reach in there and grab that. Okay. All right, we're going to do the other side. So you want to do that all the way up. So you'll have your diagonal straight up, diagonal, and straight up. Okay. You go over to the other side here. Let me get a little bit closer, maybe. Go in through that cap band, and you're going to take this band right here. It's your bottom band. The only thing that should not be looped up, and bring it back to itself. Go in through everything on there, grabbing that bottom band only, looping it back. Go into the next one, grabbing only that bottom band, and looping it back. Once you've done that, you're going to have the diagonal bands to deal with right here. You reach in, grab the diagonal, loop it to the left, go into that same pin, grab that diagonal, and loop it to the right. And go in, grab that bottom band, and loop it straight up. Okay, finish that all the way up to the end of your loom, and we'll be back and take this off, and I'll show you how I put those. Um, little studs on. Hopefully it'll look okay. If not, I'll leave them off and maybe go find some silver stars to put on this. All right? I will be right back. Okay, so the very last thing I did was I looped up the sides here and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to reach in here and grab that closure band. Okay, let me just hold this end over here. I can get it. All right, so I'm going to reach in and grab that closure band, bring it up, and then you can use a C-clip if you want, but I'm going to use my little safety pin here, my little plastic safety pin. I mean, you can, if you don't have C-clips, you know, you can use just about anything. All right, so now what we're going to do is we're going to take these off of here. So going to grab the sides and lift these up. I do not suggest pulling any bracelet like this off of your loom by ripping it. Very carefully um, pull up the edges with your hook. Okay, and Grabbing. Now I'm going to work on the center. This bracelet um, is not tight at all. So it might be a little large for my wrist. I don't know yet. I'm gonna go ahead and finish. It's really cute though, look at that. Okay, and super easy, super, super easy. All right, and so we are grabbing the last of this off of here. There we go. I'll put that to the side. And look at this, cute, very cute. I like to pull that, even that out a little bit right there. Oh, it's very nice, very nice bracelet. That's the one side, and this is the other side. So I'm going to stretch it out a little bit. Probably end up straightening some of the um, bands on here. Um, not too bad. I might not have to. Maybe some of the ones in the center. I don't know. Um, but if you were, like I said, if you were putting beads on, you would have, if you had put them where I suggested, I believe this is where your bead would have gone. It would have gone between these two right here, the, that with the center and then this one. All right, so since I did not put beads on here, I'm going to stick my little peg through the center of that. Let's see if I can get it a little bit closer and show you what I mean. So this is what I have, okay? And it has, it splits open right there. So I'm going to put that right in the, that hole, just like that. It's right there. And then I'm going to open it up. Just like that. 
and then I'll kind of hide it a little bit underneath those bands. There it is. I like that. I'm going to put those throughout the whole bracelet. Um, I like the way that turned out. Now it's poking up right here, so I need to adjust it a little bit. I think if I have them open um, from side to side instead of the way I have it, let's see here, that it will be okay. Oh, he's in my way. So we're going to move this out. So, you, you know, you don't have to just have beads to, to put on your bracelet. I mean, you can, you know, check out other, other things that you may have laying around. I'm going to bring those up a little bit and then turn it, hopefully. Come on. Got little stars poking through. Ah, stuck there. All right, just make sure I have the center again. And I'm going to turn it sideways and do it this way from side to side as opposed to straight up and down and hopefully so you can just play with it and manipulate it look how cute that is I think I'll put one more on and then I will go away and I'm going to put it right in this hole here because that's smaller than that it would definitely fall right through that so I'm going to put it in like this, straight in. And I got these at Michael's. So um, the beauty of it is that you can use, you know, there are all kinds of things. I mean, you may have stuff laying around in your house that you could use. Um, definitely, you know, check it out. Okay, so I'm gonna open that up side to side as opposed to up and down. And if I put that on my wrist, it feels just fine. Um, because this is not going to poke me at all. So pretty good. I'm liking it. So I'm gonna go off, I'm going to finish this and I will be back with photos. So cute, it's a really, really cute design. I mean, you don't even need to put any kind of embellishment on it if you don't want, but I'm liking that a lot. So that being said, this is the stars fell on Alabama, I believe. And I'm going to have to go over and double check because I did not write it down. And it's been a while. All right, so let me just double check this. Um, this yeah, The Stars Fell on Alabama by Linda Grammy Loomer. Okay, so if you were not following her, hop over to her Instagram account. It is Grammy Loomer and give her a follow. If you enjoyed this video, please, please, please hit that like button. If you're new to my channel, please subscribe. I know a lot of people, um, you know, they just see the videos and they're not necessarily subscribed. So if you would subscribe, that would be awesome. YouTube is changing and I don't have 4,000 hours of watch time. I mean, my videos aren't, you know, an hour long and 4,000 people don't watch them. So if you could hit that like button, share it if you want, um, that would be an awesome thing. I would really appreciate that. So that being said, thank you so very much for watching. And as always, be kind and be creative.